Hello, everybody. How is everybody doing? Bestie, hello, hello. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, yeah, it's been a long time since I streamed, to be honest. It's because I was just feeling in this, like, slump. And I was just, like, not... I was not feeling the great, feeling my best, my top, you know? And I, I love streaming. I do. But, um, and I do it because I love it. So I just felt like if... I was feeling like not in a good like mental place. <laughs> oh yay! Don't worry, H2, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> I um I was like I do streaming because I like it, and I was like, listen to myself. I was like, if I'm not in the best mental place and the thing I like is becoming a chore because I'm not in that mental place. I didn't want to do it, you know? I could have, like, just, like, done a bunch of streaming still. But, like, that's not fair. Oh, Alec. Alec. I love you. Thank you so much for the subscription. <laughs> I, I just felt like it wasn't fair to me and it wasn't fair to you guys if to like watch someone who wasn't fully like having fun and it wasn't fair to me to like not do so to do something that I didn't actually really want to do at that moment you know um but I feeling better um I'm so happy to stream again for you guys and the way I decided to celebrate that is to play Ace Attorney we're gonna play some Ace Attorney. There's gonna be some voice acting. We're gonna, from me, it's gonna, I'm gonna perform my little heart out. We're gonna solve these, we're gonna solve these crimes or whatever. We're gonna solve crimes or whatever. Okay, do, do, do. Ace Attorney time. I think so. I think so. <laughs> oh my god. Of course you were. Of course you were. We're going to start a fresh game of... <laughs> Yeah, for sure. No, I know. Because you are like this. We're gonna start a fresh game of just the little Ace Attorney. This is also partially because... Yeah, I haven't done this yet. So this is just fun. Partially I'm doing Ace Attorney because... I'm so hyped for the new game coming on the Switch. I think it's like the 21st of this month or something. And so I was thinking about what game I wanted to play and I was like, you know what? This sounds like a good vibe. It sounds like a good refresher of the story. And also the new game's coming out this month and I'm so excited for the new game. So I was like, hell yeah, let's play some, let's play some good old Ace Attorney. love the dramatics. <laughs> oh, I can't get, oh, I can't get caught, not like this. <laughs> Someone 
and like, uh, yeah, you know. This is the this is the cutscene. This is the cutscene. August third. <laughs> you don't want me. You want me to give you the the the, the sound voiceover for sure. You know what? I didn't think about that. Okay, let me think. I need to give my best. I'm thinking like. Um, like, SVU unit, like, voiceovers. Like, I'm thinking, like, like, that's what I'm trying to get the vibe of, you know? Like, like, yeah, like, August 3rd, 9.47 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby, number two. Boy, am I nervous. Right! Oh, uh, hi, Itchy. Whew, I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you, and your client as well. Uh, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? You mean, you did the defendant for this case? Yes. I've always thought that... I mean, maybe I don't know. Maybe I don't know, right? I just seems like a bit, like... Conflicting interests? I don't know. Maybe it's not. I don't know the law that well. Actually, I kind of owe him my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to help him. Yeah, listen, we love bad puns. I love Ace Attorney, but the puns are something we just gotta get rid of. We just gotta understand. It's, 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 it's an experience. It's an experience. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. It's over? Oh, it's, okay. My life, everything, it's all over. Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, it's him. Death, despair, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna die! It sounds like he wants to die. Um, yeah. Dick! Hey. Hey there, Larry. Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell him I'm guilty. Give me the death sentence. I ain't afraid to die. Larry, please. Larry, calm yourself. Larry Butts. Oh, I think I just got his. I just think I got his. Everyone's name is like a pun, and I know some of them. I just think I realized the whole like Harry Butts. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> Okay, I'll, off the bat. Oh, great start. Great start off the bat. What? What's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over. I... I finished. Finished. I can't live in a world without her. I can't. Who... Who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Oh, Nick, you gotta tell me. Who took my baby away? Hmm. The person responsible for your girlfriend's death? Newspapers say it was you. My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts. My best friend since grade school. 
Our school had a saying. When something smells, it's usually the butts. In the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. I, I mean, you know, we love the confidence. We love to see it. Just, be <laughs> just being like, yeah, um, half the time it has totally been true. It's like, oh, okay. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I could say, though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. That, and I own one, which is why I took this case, to clear his name. And that's just what I'm going to do. Ba -ba -ba -bum -bum -bum. August 3rd, 10 a.m., District Court. Courtroom number two. Oh, what's a good, like, old man voice? Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butch. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The um, <clears throat> defense is ready, Your Honor. Uh huh. Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? Yes, Your Honor. I'm uh a little nervous. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Thanks. Thank you, Your Honor. You just said control your nerves, Phoenix. Not immediately stutter and say, um, thanks. <laughs> Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should test to have a test to assist. Ascertain your readiness. Yes, Your Honor. Hands shaking. Eyesight fading. The test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. Phoenix Wright. Now. The defendant? Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Correct. <laughs> I always find, like, sometimes, um, obviously understand why we have tutorials, but I, I just like the situations that the tutorials are happening in. Like, I do like to imagine them actually happening. Like, some make sense. Some make sense. But, like, this guy, he, like... It's his first case, but he's, like, officially a lawyer. Like, there's no reason they would have him in the court if he wasn't a lawyer. And to have him do, like, let's, let's have a little test. What's your defendant's name? Like, I, I would not, I would immediately be like, can I get a new lawyer? <laughs> if I had the judge come to me, like, come to my lawyer and be like, What's your defendant's name? Like, I would not trust that that lawyer. I'm sorry. I want to not be in jail. Not like... I don't know. It seems a little... It's... Oof. Just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? Whew, I know this one. Glad I read the case report over co cover to cover so many times. It's wait. Uh oh. No, no way. I forgot. I'm drawing a total blank here. Like he doesn't. He, he he's having a blank moment of being like, who's the victim? I would I would not if I was in Larry's position. I would not be trusted. Phoenix tried to give me up. I mean later on. Yeah, sure. When he's like had several cases under his belt, hell yeah, I'll, I'll sign him up. But the first one, like, whew. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name. Oh, the victim. Uh, of course, I know the victim's name. I am <clears throat> just forgot temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. Look. The victim's name isn't listed in the court record. Just 
Game Grumps episode at one point, like way back when they were doing Ace Attorney, and like I've I've been into Ace Attorney for a while, but um, I think they did the like when they were reading the voice, they did miss like Payne's voice like that like nasally type thing, and I just can't get it out of my head. Like I that's that's just his voice to me now. <laughs> like, at this point, like, I don't know what to tell you. So, like, every time I see, like, Payne or his brother, Meow with, Meow with the vibes. <gasps> I, <laughs> I love that. Oh my god, fucking Meow, bro. That's right. <laughs> oh my god. As Mr. Bright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? The murder weapon was the statue of the thinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepts it into evidence. A statue to the thinker. A statue in the shape of the thinker. It's really heavy. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Yes. Game mechanics. Yes, I understand. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution calls the defendant, Mr. Butts, to the stand. Uh, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Uh-oh. Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. Poor Larry. Poor Larry. <clears throat> Mr. Butts, is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey, watch it, buddy! We were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet. Cleopatra and Mark Anthony. Um, didn't they all die? This is Larry, please. I, um, I love this game so much, but the characters sometimes like give me aneurysms. Cause why you gotta be? Why you gotta be like this, Larry? Why you gotta admit to basically things right off the bat? <laughs> like, I wasn't dumb. She just wasn't taking my phone calls, or seeing me, ever. What did you do anyway? Mr. Butts, what you described is generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. She just had returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What do you mean one of them? Lies, all of it lies. I don't believe a word of it. Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris till the day before she died. The victim apparently arrived 
home from Paris on 7.30, the day before the murder. Okay. Hmm, indeed. She appears to have returned the day before the murder. Dude, no way. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. That in the voice is killing me. That's killing me in that voice it is. Daddies? Sugar? Yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude. We can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right. I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a way of ruining, running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I stop him from answering? My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to the case. Shut it down. Shut it down, Phoenix. Shut it down. Oof. Dude, Dick, what do you mean irrelevant? That cheating she-dog. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop dead. I'm going to... I'm gonna get the bottom of this. But... Come on, man. We're trying to get you free. And this man is putting a dig in the... Digging us in the deeper grave. You really said, like, when I meet her in the afterlife. That is not what you say about a murder victim. We are trying to not have you get killed. And, well, I guess probably just throw in prison. I, I don't really know if it's actually a death sentence, but, you know. Let's continue with the trial, shall we? I believe the accused motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh, boy. This is not... This is so not good looking good. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Well, did you or did you not? Eh? <laughs> well, maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Uh-oh. He went. What do I do? himself in a, like, a digger hole, bigger hole, but, like, I think the prosecution, like, already knows that he went over there because he asked the question, and we shouldn't really lie in court, so, answer honestly? I know, I'll send them a signal. Tell the truth. There, I win. This will help us in the order. Well, Mr. Butts, dude, chill. She wasn't home, man. So, like, I didn't see her. Why is his objection so high pitched? <laughs> what? I just, I was hearing that, like. Phoenix says when he does it, it's like, objection. But like, Payne's, Payne's objection is so high-pitched. Right? No, it was like aggressive, but it was also like, okay. Your Honor, the defendant is lying. Lying? The prosecution would like to call a witness who could prove Mr. Butts is lying. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man we found who found the victim's body just before making the gruesome discovery. He saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Order, order in the court. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, your honor. This is bad. Yeah, no shit, Phoenix. But I'm glad we ha didn't have him lie, because he literally has a witness, so that would have been bad if we'd been like, 
yeah, you weren't there. And he's like, here's a witness. And it's like, okay, maybe it was there. Like, you know. On the day of the murder, my, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Sawit to the stand. Ace Attorney. Oh, Ace Attorney. Your puns bring me joy and aggravation all at the same time. The witness is called last name is Saw It. I anyways. It's the guy! I forgot about this. It's literally the guy that killed him. We saw it in that cutscene. Damn. That's crazy. Mr. Side. You sell newspaper subscriptions, is this correct? Oh, oh yes. Newspapers, yes. Mr. Saad, you may you may, you may you may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Witness testimony. Ba 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 ba. Witness account. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment, and then I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. The man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. You little lying, you little murderous lying bastard. Barry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against <laughs> somebody like that. Oh, please. Is, is Mr. Saw it the imposter? Not the <laughs> not the sus bit. Um, incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Saw it used was one of those. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout for your perusal. Lecturers to be in Mrs. Stone's building was out from noon to 6 p.m. on the day of the crime. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Uh, yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross-examination. Cross-examination, Your Honor? Alright, right. This is it. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why, you expose the lies in the witness testimony the witness just gave. Lies? What? He was lying? Phoenix, it's a murder trial. Come on, we gotta get this up. Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is it your client really guilty? How do I prove he's not? Side note. Completely side note. But, Ace Attorney music, like the soundtrack. Sorry. People don't seem to realize that it's not 4th of July anymore, and therefore, don't need to use fireworks. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the, mu the the Ace Attorney, like, soundtrack is, is always good. Is always, is just always, like, mwah. It's always good. I love it. You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find contradictions contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you found the contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Um, okay. Open the court record, blah blah blah. Yes. Game mechanics. 
Okay, yes, yes. Wait, so cow. Bow, bow, bow. Is going door to door selling peach? Okay. Press. Hold it. Hold it. Isn't a man leaving an apartment a common sight? I find it odd you would take notice of him. Uh, heh. <laughs> I don't know. He just seems strange to me, that's all. Like he was fat, and yet frightening. Frightened at the same time. Just like a criminal fleeing the scene of crime. The defense requests the witness refrain from conjecture. Of course. What the witness means that he, the man he looked saw looked suspicious. So, what happened next? I'm just gonna press him on everything. It doesn't matter if I press him on shit, so. Hold it! Half open, you say? Yes, yes. The door was open halfway, yes. I watched for a moment, but no one came to the door. That's odd. In a big city like this, I thought. I see. And what happened next? I think it was strange. I looked inside the apartment. My entire life there. A woman not moving dead. Hold it! Are you sure she was dead? Wh well No, I guess I wasn't. But she wasn't moving at all, and there was blood everywhere. I guess that would look fatal to anyone. Very well, what happened next? anything in the apartment and then being like yes um no like hello sir mm -hmm. Hold it. Hmm. the phone in her apartment wasn't working yes i mean no it wasn't right well you said you didn't go into the apartment or did you oh oh that i can explain that that's what I'm saying! That's what I'm saying! How'd you know the phone wasn't working if you didn't touch anything in the apartment? Hmm. Hmm. I... <laughs> There's a cordless phone on the shelf in the entryway. I reached inside and tried using that to call. And the phone wasn't working, correct? What happened next? How did you know the time? Uh, 1 p.m. Are you certain? Yes, absolutely. Seems really confident. 1 p.m. Right. Doesn't that seem strange to you? Okay. Let's... The time of death was between 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. So how did you see her die at 1 p.m.? Objection! Objection! You found the body at 1 p.m. You're sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. For certain. Frankly, I find that hard. <laughs> Period, let's fuck him up. Yes! Let's be lawyers. We're being lawyerly. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death at some time after 4 p.m. <laughs> there was nobody to, uh, no, body. I gotta leave at that line. I gotta leave. Phoenix. this behavior? What is this behavior? I love and I have a love-hate relationship with the puns in this game. 
Oh my god. Fine at 1 p.m. How do you explain this three hour gap? Oh, that. Oh, uh. Alright, this is trivial. The witness nearly forgot the time. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Sod, why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, uh, well, I. Gee, that's a really good question. Hmm. Is it now? Is it now? Murderer. <laughs> Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. Point out contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. Okay, Mia. See through one, and their whole story falls apart. Wait! I remember now! <clears throat> Would you care to give your testimony again? Hmm. Time for discovery. I love the soundtrack. It's so good. <laughs> You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. I love it. Wait a minute! Television?! During a power outage? Sorry, I wanted to hold the mic up. No! But there's a power outage in the building! Japan's TVs must be built different. Yeah, just saying the time. Hmm. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a taped program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Da, da, da. Gotta catch him in the fucking act. You liar! You liar! You're a liar! I think you're okay. I'm pretty sure. I think it's in a weird made-up country. Like, I'm pretty sh I think they're in different sections. Like, I don't remember. Sometimes they do, like, they have one later on where they made up a place. I don't actually know if this is in the made-up place or not. Let's see. You heard a voice tape saying the time on a taped program. I mean, that's a very good thing to strive for. So, that's an always good, that's an always a good one. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Right. You know what to do. I've got this one. I'm gonna skip right to it. It's probably coming from the television. Jeez. Are you sure that it was a television and not a radio? Well, no. I guess it might have been a radio. Incidentally, there was no radio on the premises. There was only one large television. Right. I can't put my finger on it, but so Woo! Something about this seems very fishy. Something about hearing the television? Okay, it's probably coming from the television. Ted. Uh, from noon to 6 p.m. on the day of the crime. Objection! Hold it right there. The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. Yeah! Yeah! You couldn't have heard television or video. I... well... <clears throat> the defense has a point. Do you have any explanation for this, Mr. Sod? No, I... I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite. Ah! Uh, wait, I remember now. Mr. Sod? The court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. Oh, tell him! Tell him! Go ahead! Okay, judge. He said, 
bitch be accurate? These constant contradictions are harming your credibility. That, and you seem rather distraught. M my apologies, Your Honor. It, uh, it must have been a shock, finding the body. Very well, Mr. Slot. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table on the table clock at the apartment. Was it there? Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. You saw a clock? I guess that would explain it. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. Hold it! The murder weapon? Yes, the tablecloth that was used as a weapon. That's what I just said. Didn't you doze off in the middle of my testimony or something? Something's fishy here, and I know what it is. He said the clock is the murder weapon, but it was the statue. Objection! Objection! Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was the statue. Now how is this supposed to be a clock? What? You with your objections and your evidence? Just who do you think you are? Bitch, a lawyer! I'm a lawyer! I thought this was established! Just answer the question, Mr. Sod! Hey, I- I saw it there, okay? That's a clock! Your Honor, if I may... Yes, Mr. Payne? As the witness stated, the statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like the clock, I submitted it as the statue. My apologies. Like, I'm trying to figure out if I have anything that... Yeah? Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was clock is to hold it in his hand. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was kind of worried that he would it would want me to, like, re-present -re -re evidence again. And I was like, oh, um, I don't really know what evidence we have, but that's what I wanted to say. Okay. Yet the witness testified that he had never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. Hmm, indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he went into the apartment. You're lying. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh yeah? Prove it. Prove it I went in there. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. Yes! You struck her with the clock, and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Oh shit! Oh shit! He's going crazy! <laughs> Order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Sod. The sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke as you hit the victim. The voice was burned into your mind. That's why you're so certain about the time. What's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. 
<laughs> Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with a clock? I, I, that, that day, I, I never, look, I, the clock, I heard, no, I mean, I saw, oh, it's his breakdown. I love, I love the, um, I love the the character witnesses, not character witnesses, that's something else, um, the, like, main witness or, like, the main person who, like, actually did it, I love when they, I love their breakdowns, because every single, every single one of them has one, and it's so good every time, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, I hate you, it, it was him, I tell you, I saw him, he, he killed her, and he should burn, burn, give him death, <laughs> Duh. Damn. Order. Order in the court, I say. That's what I'm saying. Your Honor, a moment, please. There's been a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright. Wendy Williams. Not when. Sorry. Let me ban that bot real quick. Not Wendy Williams. <laughs> You claim the sound of the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is riding on this. You better think through it carefully. Your Honor, the sound of Mr. Sot heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply... There wasn't... It wouldn't make sense if there was neighbors. Try sounding the clock? Let's sound the clock now to hear in court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I ask the court to listen very carefully. Beep. I think it's 8.25. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. <laughs> Judge, please. This is not the focus here. This is the focal point. Well, he is the thinker, after all. So we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 11.25. Eh. I didn't hear that noise very good. As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Sod heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Sod, try to talk your way out of this one. Heh. <laughs> You forgot one thing. Uh-oh. What is he talking about now? While it may seem like the clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. He's right. How can I- How am I going to prove that? Damn it. I was so close. Damn, he's given up already. <laughs> he said- He said, damn. Anyways, bye. Like, all right! Mr. Wright, it seems you lack this critical evidence to support your claim. Uh, yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot let you indict, in, indict the witness. Unfortunately. Victims to cross-examination and Frank, Mr. Frank saw it. But I know the reason! Ugh. I hate when that happens in Ace Attorney games. Not like actually hate it, but... It always is a little bit frustrating when it's like, you know who the murderer is, or you know what he did, but you just, like, have to get through the steps of, like, figuring out. That happens in, like, um, other games like this, like, Magnum Ropa. Like, it's always so frustrating when you're like, okay, I know who it is, or, like, I at least know what happened, but you just have to go through every single step, like, lining out what happened and why it is this way. And it's just like, oh, but I know, I know. I came all the way down to testify and look what happens. You treat me like a criminal, a criminal. You lawyers are all slime. I almost had him. Sorry, Larry, I failed you. There's nothing I can do about it now. Not so fast, Mr. Sot. Mia! Thanks for saving us, because we were. The Phoenix was about to straight up give up. Mia! I mean, Chief. Listen up, right? 
Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. But Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock would slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still live. Try thinking out of the box. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason and you'll have your proof. Right? Right? <laughs> can you think of a reason as to why the... Yes, I can! I can't think of a reason! Uh, wait. Maybe I can prove it. You must have evidence somewhere that can prove it right. Find it and let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright, you saw the... You say the clock was already running slow the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course. There is one piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. <laughs> Tough words. Let's see you pull this one off. Let's see if this evidence proves why the clock is running slow. The passport! Because... Um... They arrived from Paris the day of the murder. So all their, sh all their stuff would be... Have a time difference. The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't three hours slow, it was nine hours fast. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you hear, you heard when you struck her dead in her apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Saw it? Or should I say, Mr. Did it? Phoenix, you're killing me. You're killing me. the mouth and dropped on <laughs> oops order order i say well <laughs> the main witness just passed out and we're just like well that's interesting isn't it that's crazy like all right well this case has certainly turned out differently than what we all expected. Mr. Payne, your witness? He, uh, he was arrested and has been taken away, your honor. Very well. Mr. Wright? Yes, your honor? I just, I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly. And find the true culprit at the same time. Well, I guess we're just like the best lawyer in existence and we're kind of just like mm, amazing? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, your honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but this court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts, not guilty. I wish courts I wish courts had that. I wish, I wish, like, I wish confetti would rain down from the ceiling. That'd be fun. A little, little spicy, spicy twist to court cases, you know? Might be a little bit morbid in a real murder case, but I, I don't know. Like, imagine if you go to, like, the judge to like, I don't know, debate a parking ticket or something, and then when you get it off, you like, just confetti rain to sit down from the ceiling. I feel like that'd be a fun, I feel like that'd be a fun surprise. I feel like that'd be like, you know, very intriguing, very, you would feel good. <laughs> and with that, the court is adjourned. Turns out that Frank saw it was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of the house. That day, 
when Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sutt let, him, let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching for her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Sot grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. And killed her. August 3rd, 2, 32 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Whew. I still can't believe we won. Right. Good job in there. Congratulations. Thanks, Chief. I owe, I owe it all to you. Not at all, not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. I've never seen the Chief look this happy. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. My life is over! We just got you out of... Out of... Getting arrested. Out of court. What do you mean your life is over? Larry! You're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Aw, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. Good. Wait, no. I mean, bad. Bad, bad, bad. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. But... But my Cindy Windy's gone, man. Gone forever. Larry, she was a... Nah, never mind. Congratulations, Harry. Harry? Ah, yeah! Yeah, that's... That is fair. But also, how much of a girl boss was the girl that got killed? She said... Forget men, I'm gonna go be with sugar daddies and go to Paris and get paid for. I mean, come on, you gotta respect it. I can respect the grind, you gotta respect the grind, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, you, I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts, innocent. <laughs> um, thanks. I really owe you one. I won't forget this, ever. Let's celebrate. Dinner? Movie? My treat. Oh, no. I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Oh, hey. Here, take this. It's a present. A present? For me? Wait. Wasn't this the evidence that... Actually, I made this clock for her. I made one for her, and one for me. Really? You made this? Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. He really said, here's an exact replica of the murder weapon. Present. Okay. Yo, Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And... I wish you was just playing me for a fool. Don't that just make you want to cry? Larry. Are you so sure? Excuse me? I think she thought quite a lot of you, in her own way. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me. It's okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing, really. Isn't that right, right? And it does. Don't you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? Huh? Oh yeah, right. What the heck is she talking about? I mean, she kept the statue, right? Check that. Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't some truck to her. Huh? What about that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. And she took it with her when she traveled. Whatever, she probably just needed a clock, that's all. Think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Well, make of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. Thanks. Hope that made him feel a little better. 
right? I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People too. We never really know if it's our clients if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Okay, Mia. Mia's really coming down with some like advice. With some wisdom. I love to see it. Write, listen, learn, grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, guess so. Say, how about dinner? On me? We'll drink a toast to innocent butts. Yeah, that's a wonderful toast. Innocent butts. Oh, speaking of Harry, she still got his name wrong. This is so sad. You were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Uh, yeah, part of it at least. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe over a drink. And so my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us. <laughs> Unless you count the clock he gave me. Uh, oh my god. Just being like... I love that, though. He's like, I'm pretty sure he's not gonna pay us. <laughs> okay, Larry. I didn't know it then. But that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one problem promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. Dun dun dun! Yay! Again. I'm gonna rewrite over my old ones. Oh, rewrite! Actually, I don't know how long the second chapter is. Okay. How are we feeling about, okay, two options, I think. One, I just like end the stream here at like one chapter and it's good and like very solid ending. Or we keep going, but I'm probably going to have to stop in the middle of the second chapter. Because I think it's like, it's going to be long, like. I don't mind going for, like, a while longer, but, like, obviously we can't go, like, too long, you know? How we feeling? What we thinking? So we actually did like the whole first chapter, but that was just the prologue. So that the first ones are really usually short. I know I think the second one's kind of longish. Any ideas? Any ideas? I'm here for whatever. Okay, okay. I'll go a bit longer. I'll go a bit longer. We'll just we'll just have to like kind of stop in like a semi awkward position for next stream when we ever we do Ace Attorney again. Yeah, yeah. Over here too. Over here too. I don't really get the whole thing because like I don't even fully get it on like 4th of July but at least it's like okay it's 4th of July I at least know people are gonna do it but like on the days before and after 4th of July 
there's still so much fireworks. And I'm just like, hello? It's not even the holiday anymore. Like, golly. Beep. Hello, this is Maya. Hey Maya, it's me. Mia, what's up? You haven't called me in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely, and it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah. It's made to look like the statue to the thinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now. You know I'm only teasing. Well, I should probably tell you. The clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take out the clockwork. Sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm. Well, there's a possibility that it might turn out the other turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight? Say nine? To pick up to pick it up? I'll be in the pre pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis. But I expect dinner. Something good. Like burgers. I could really go for a good burger. Okay, okay. We'll hit the usual joint. Alright, it's a deal. Okay, sis. See you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting, Maya. Conversation recorded September 5th, 9.27 a.m. September 5th, 8.57 p.m. Faye and Co. Law Offices. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Ho, oh, oh. You're not... You are not... Oh, fuck. What does that word mean? Let's look it up. Let's look... Let's have a little learning sesh of what the words mean, of what words mean. Sage. Cogniferous. Okay, actually, I know that word. That just, like, okay, sorry. It took me, I don't know, sometimes, sometimes I know what words mean, but, like, it was just, like, sometimes I can't, when I look at a word, it doesn't, like, register about what it is, especially if it's, like, a confusing -ish spelling. So, like, sometimes, like, my brain is, like, I don't know how to say that word, so therefore I don't know what this word is. And then I realize, oh, I do know. Words are hard. No. Cogniferous is just, like, cognitive or, like, kind of, like, knowledgeable of, I'm pretty sure. It's just saying, like, you're not aware of my background, basically. Gathering information is my business, you see. I'm already- I already don't care about this pretentious-ass man who used the words cogniferous. Cogniferous- whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> I- I should have been more careful. Ho-ho. My dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry. But I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. I know what's gonna happen, red, white, blue. I knew it was gonna happen, it always happens, but I love her so much. I fall in love with her every single time I play this game, and it sucks because she's there for one chapter and then she's gone! She's dead! And for what? 
I know. It's so sad. They make her so likable. And so you get, always, I always love her. And then I'm just like, oh my god. Oh, what the hell? It flashed. I don't know why it did that. Yeah, not like this. That's what I'm saying. Mia, you could have been such, you could have had so much more time. Uh, 9.08 p.m. Uh-oh, I'm late. Huh? That's strange. Guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over, so should we so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Mia! Maybe she's in our office? Girl, move! Office! I don't have time to examine the whole building. Oop! That smell! Blood! Yes. Someone's there. Her sister do be kind of dead though. I'm sorry. Chief? Chief! Chief! That's so sad though. Oh. Maya, Mia, I love you both. Who are you? Oh. Did she pass out? What did she, what happened? Oh, she dropped out cold. I love her lying in the office soda. Soda. Sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Shouldn't we call the cops? Her body was so warm. I could feel when I was held her shoulder. Then all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally, she was cold. Shouldn't we be calling the cops? Chief. Why are we examining? I mean... Of course I want to investigate, but like... Shouldn't she just die? Like... Okay. There's a large building right across from the office. The Gatewater Hotel. A nice, luxurious place. Chief. It's hard seeing her like this, but if there's any clues here. She was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker, lying right next to her, must have been the murder weapon. Dang. That'd be the same murder weapon twice in a row. There's some glass shards here, she's body. Must be pieces of the glass leg. Slow to death. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I was saying earlier. Like, like I don't like this has to be a conflict of interest or something, because like, like not only did you are you trying to defend your like best friend from elementary school, and now your boss is dead. Like this seems like very, I don't know. This seems a little worried. Must be pieces of the glass light stained. Oh my god. Stand lying broken in the back of the room. Oh my god. Glass shards. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. A piece of paper. Must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? Scrap of paper. Maya? Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from the dark apartment to store. Dated to yesterday. Oh, this is not looking good. Like, we know. That's not always too. Like, since we know the murderer. Like. Like, we saw the murderer kill her in that cutscene. But that's just the knowledge for the, like, watcher of this game, or, like, the player. Like, we know Maya did kill her. However, now there's a receipt written her blood that says Maya on it. Like, 
People are gonna think you did it. I think that's enough sniffing around for now. I better call the police. Find out what the girl is doing here. Yeah, you should have called the police first. I don't. God's name he was like oh yeah let me I mean I get it. you want to get the evidence I get it I get it don't worry I I get it we want to get the evidence so we can do it in court yada 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 right like but you all you are also a lawyer you know you have to go to the police and you're gonna look suspicious if you're like yeah she died but I decided to snoop around the room first like Hello? That girl just now. Where'd she go? I put her right there on the sofa. Uh-oh. I hope she didn't run on me. Yipes. Don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay. I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya Faye? Maya? So Mia's was written in this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt? I've never thought there'd be use for evidence like this outside of the course. Present evidence! Receipt! Receipt! Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. Th 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 that's my name! Why? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Why would sis write my name? Uh oh, now I've done it. Phoenix. Phoenix, you gotta get yourself together, man. You gotta get yourself together. Not only are you investigating, you're also showing a potential- someone Evidence on the crime scene without calling the police first. I better hurry up and call the police. Hey. Talk. Sure. What happened? I have to know. Um, excuse me? Can you tell me what happened? I came in. The room was dark. And sis, sis, she was already dead. So, you're the chief's sister. I'm her younger sister. And you're here visiting this late at night? Yes, she said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes, it was that clock. It was the thinker. without feeling insignificant. The door is the chief's office. It's slightly open. I'd better not touch the doorknob. The reception desk. I usually sit here. A small writing desk cluttered with office supplies. modern art? I, on the other hand, call it a mistake. Okay. Phoenix coming with the hot burn on the integrity of modern art. This sofa is for clients. It's leather. A real luxury model. Okay, that didn't really get me to do anything. I keep pressing the wrong escape button. I guess? Oh, this, yes. I should call the police. The Faye and Co. Ledger book. Everything is written in the Chief's ultra neat handwriting. It's a small office, but it makes a good bit of money. All 
the Chief's important documents are packed in here. This is where she filed her trace records on recent rulings. Right, I'd better call the police. That's funny. A few of the screws in the receiver are missing. It looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police! Please come quick! What was that? Someone screaming outside from outside the window? She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. Well, this is awkward. This is awkward. Try go. got here fast. It's too bad that, you know, they'll probably suspect either of us. But they got here fast. That's nice. The police. Sounds like they're on the way. Freeze! Police! Oh. Alright, I'm Detective Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe? What an odd name. We received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. Must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great. Just great. Maya, wait. She couldn't have... Nah. Whoa! Excuse me. Eh. Does this word Maya here mean anything to you? Um... That, that's my name. What? <laughs> I love Gumshoe. I do. The victim drew this here n note in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. Killer? I'm not. Case closed. You're coming out of the precinct, ma'am. Sir. Sir. Gumshoe. Love you. Jump into some c conclusions. Jumping to some conclusions. He saw one note and was like, well, solved it. Keep wrapping up. What? Well, Maya's younger sister, Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6th, Maya's 7 a.m. The visitor's room. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh, it's you, the lawyer. G good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I'm gonna say it's up to you. Because as much as I'd be like, of course I will, like, it is up to her. She's a client, you know what I mean? I can't just be like, no, I will be your attorney. It's up to you. I better give it to her straight. It's up to you. Up to me? Yeah. I don't think this is something I should have done. After all, you are the one in trouble here. They're never going to believe me, are they? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? No, no, I never thought. It's okay, I understand. And I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How did that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Heh. <laughs> so he crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those strike fear in the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is... experience. Huh. Sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go. I know who to go to if I ever get in trouble now. 
I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. Alright, thanks for the vote of confidence. That's what she said. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. <laughs> Damn. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Ma Mia, I know. Smile for the camera. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. A real pro, this guy. I'm sure that's the reason he has to move the inch, and not the fact that it, he's in the background art. <laughs> There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? <laughs> I'm so, listen, I'm so sorry, but the way it's like... It's literally, like, she is, have been in, she's in, like, detention. Like, she's been arrested because they suspect her to be the murderer. And out of all the things he has to ask her, he's like, what's with that outfit? What are you wearing? <laughs> oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. A acolytes? Like, people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. In training. Spe spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Right? Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes. That clock shaped like the thinker? one Larry gave. How could that have been used as evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember. Uh, do you want to hear it in her own voice? Her own voice? Yeah. I'm pretty sure her conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it? Yeah. I forgot how to delete those things. So you say you have a conversation with your sister on the cell phone? Let's hear it. Right. Oh. I just remembered that detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure. Thanks. Uh, the day of the crime. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must have been hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing in, for the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on the piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. That's the thinker clock that Larry made. Practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. So when did you arrive at the audience? Office. It was right about nine. The legs were off and I could smell blood. Then I found her. My sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. So you're an acolyte? A uh, medium in training? That's right. The Faye family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Fey family? So, Mia was into this stuff too? Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I, I had no idea. Hmm. Wait, what? So, you're a real honest and goodness spirit medium with ESP and all that? Yes, in training. Well, can't you contact Mia's spirit then? We can just ask her who killed her. I, I 
I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Hmm. Thought that would be too easy. Um. Huh? Something the matter? Um. I was wondering. Could I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this. Gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And well. I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go ask him to re represent me? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna refuse. Be like, no! Your last wish and I deny it! Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. Say, what about your parents? I, I see. Don't worry, leave it to me. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. The trial's tomorrow at 10. What? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? They told me that if I don't fight one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 this afternoon. These meeting hours are almost up. I better hurry. Right. I'll be back. Present. Attorney's bed. Sorry, I've never seen that before. I wanted to ask you about the murder weapon. Poor sis. Hmm. Better not ask her about this. It's on that right now. This was lying next to the chief's body. I saw that too. They said they thought they were pieces of the broken light stand. Yeah, that seems about right. So I've never heard of a glass light stand before this. Remember that receipt? You mean the one with my name on it? Any idea why she... Absolutely none. Um, you trust me? I trust you. Yeah, I trust you. Why? Don't you think I did it too? No, I don't. It's just a hunch, but... That detective thinks I did it. Well... Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> I think... I think this is a good place to stop. Um... We got a little bit into chapter two of the game one, and we finished chapter one entirely, and I think that's going well for a bit. Like, it's a good place to set up, you know? Let me get my stuff set up. Okay. Thank you so much to everybody who joins me today. Um, if you're here for a little bit or here the whole time, I genuinely appreciate you. And it means a lot that you stick around and talk to me. And I love it. Um, it's been a hell of a lot of time since I streamed. I know that. Um, but I... I'm, uh, I think I'm gonna get back into doing it more often. Um, I had my whole feel better mentally and also, like, you know, however, can never say for sure. You know how it is. But I do have my schedule, and if I do stream, I'm gonna stick to it. So, I stream um, usually Monday, Wednesday. Saturday. So, however, because sometimes I do take breaks and sometimes
sometimes I do think that of normal times, the best way to follow my content is to actually follow me. Um, that's why you can get those little stream reminders and you can see me when I stream, so... I don't know, sounds pretty, like a pretty sick deal. <laughs> um, I have a Twitter. I post every time I go live. Um, I reply and, uh, like, tweets all the time, so, especially my friends, so, if you want to see me do stuff on there, like, yeah. Um, check that out. I have a YouTube where I post all my VODs, or the majority of my VODs. There's been a couple times I've fucked up, but we don't need to talk about this. Um... But the majority of, like, basically all of them are on there. So if you want to catch up with the series or see what I've done in the past, a lot of, lot of, lot of, it's on there. You can check it out, check it, catch up. I have a Discord. Um, I'm on it, obviously. My friends are on it. Um, it's not particularly super active, but, um, if you want to talk or, like, start up conversations with people, it's, my, it's a place you can meet people and whatever. You can talk to me. I'd love to talk to you guys. Um, yeah. Okay. With that, I think I've done my majority of my reminders and such. Um, with that, drink some water, eat some food, get some sleep, have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you Wednesday, hopefully. I really hope I don't all of a sudden have another shitty day. <laughs> it's been so long since I've done this. Oh my god, I'm glad I was able to stream again today. I feel happy. Uh, yeah. So with that, I will see you another time. Oh wait, shoot. Let me check first. I forgot to check if anyone I knew was streaming. Well, they're not. So that's okay. <laughs> but I did check, though. I'm getting better at that. I'm getting better at that. Okay. With that, I think I got everything I need to do out the way.